Welcome back to a brand new video guys. My name is Patrick aka Chief Pat and today we're gonna be checking out the newest brawler that might be coming out inside of Brawl Stars named Piper that was actually leaked on the subreddit by someone who ended up finding it inside of the game files. Now once again with Clash Royale, Clash of Clans, and now Brawl Stars people are actually able to find out some of this stuff coming out inside of the game before uh, it's actually live by doing something called data mining. I have no idea how it works I just know that most of the time it's accurate and one user actually ended up finding a crazy amount of information on the newest brawler who looks like it's gonna be coming out inside of the game named Piper. Now let's go ahead and get to those images right now. I'm going to put the post in the description below if you guys want to check it out. But checking out this first image, you can see Piper is on the game screen next to all the other brawlers. It looks like she's next to both Bo as well as Spike. But taking a look at the next screen, you can actually see that Piper is an epic with the purple background. So she's going to cost 70 brawler chips unless they make some changes to how you unlock stuff. Maybe there's some going to be some super magical brawl boxes. I literally have no idea inside of the next update uh, if they're even going to change anything when it comes to that. But checking out Piper, let's go and read her description. Piper de la Prem is always the belle of the brawl. All class to begin with, she was also top of her class in sharpshooting. So the only real information there is sharpshooting, which means that most likely she would be ranged. But luckily with this final image I have right here for you guys, you can see uh, you can see Piper in action and she's got a crazy long distance similar to Colt, Ricochet, uh, Brock, any of those characters. So she's gonna be super ranged, but honestly, who knows what's gonna like really make her different. A lot of the heroes or brawlers inside of the game are sort of similar except one their special abilities and number two just very basic variations in their attack so who knows if piper is going to have some sort of crazy umbrella attack or what her ability is actually going to be and who knows if piper actually will get released inside of the game because at times they'll just kill something if they don't like it but looking at how polished she actually is looks like it's a pretty good chance we might see her in the next update and uh, yeah that would be the first update in brawl stars hi history which would be pretty exciting especially if it was out on android or any other platform or country. I don't think that's gonna happen based on the posts that they've been making on Twitter and Reddit. But anyways, that's gonna do it for this leaks. Let me know what you guys think about Piper in the comments section below. Uh, really hard to judge if she's gonna be strong or weak based off the information we know so far. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into a couple of matches today and keep it up. Personally, for me, I've been having a lot of fun with a couple of brawlers. Obviously, Spike has been amazing, but not everyone has Spike. I think Poco is still one of the most broken brawlers in the game, but Mortis is just so ridiculously fun being able to run around and uh, grab all of those crystals. And uh, let's go and see if we can pick up a couple of wins using Mortis. Let's hop into a battle or two and uh, see if we can keep doing it. Now, honestly, for me, even after a couple of weeks after Brawl Stars has been out, it's still been incredibly fun for me. I still play it almost every single night uh, with my buddies uh, before I go to bed, get into a couple of 3v3s. Obviously, I like playing with my friends more than anything in this game. It's really frustrating sometimes to get matched up with strangers. Uh, just playing with friends is basically more fun in every single game. Let's go ahead and do work against this Poco right here. We're going to knock that Poco out. We've still got a pretty decent amount of HP left. I'm going to take this next crystal right here. We'll take on this Primo as well. Going to be dancing all over this Primo. And uh, taking a look, we've got five crystals so far. And this is why playing Mortis is just so ridiculously fun. Okay, let's go ahead and kill this, uh, this poor little Poco right here. It looks like one crystal got picked up over there. A couple of things going down. I'm going to throw my bats just in case. And six crystals. We've got seven crystals. Just so ridiculously easy to start picking up some kills over here. Barley's going to end up killing that one El Primo. Nice job right there. And uh, so far, so good. Let's just go ahead and hold on for two more crystals to pick up this win. That El Primo's going to go in. I'm going to take these crystals. And I would really like to have all the crystals for my team. A lot of the time it's better just to have all your crystals on one character because then you can just protect that one character and you end up winning. Uh, I'm going to go crazy as I always do and end up killing that Primo. I'm even going to take this other crystal right here and then throw some bats and kill this Poco. And that's going to be the end of the battle. Mortis just so ridiculously fun. Of course he is an epic so he's a little bit more difficult to get but honestly I think Mortis might be the boat most broken uh, brawler in the game especially when it comes to jet like uh or the crystal mine. You know collecting the crystals with Mortis is just so so easy and uh, even in like other modes i don't think he's that great but when it comes to smash and grab he's just so so good and uh yeah it was a beat down right there let's go and do another one using mortis and see if we can keep it grooving because it's been so so good and uh, let's go ahead and do it Whew, we are at six out of six time to get it rolling who's your guys favorite brawler right now personally I think Mortis is one of my favorites. Spike, uh, Poco is super, super good. Wait, do we have two Mortises? Okay, this could be bad. Wait, there's another Mortis. Mortises are everywhere right now. And uh, let's just go ahead and take out that one right there. We're gonna take this Mortis on right here. This is fun. Mortises are everywhere. Okay, let's go ahead and kill this. Uh, I guess that was a barley right there. Keep on grinding and with four crystals total, nice little start to the game. Let's go ahead and keep it up. Mortises are flying left and right. Mortis central right now. Barley's going to keep on going. I'm going to just walk through the poison 
and uh, do work on this Mortis right here. I've even got some bats. I'm gonna play once again. This Mortis is being such a pain. And at this point, we sort of need to chill out right now. Actually, no, I'm gonna kill this Barley. I think that Barley was using the Crystal too. I'm gonna end up taking out that Mortis as well. And I'm gonna kill this Jesse. Triple kill using Mortis. Make that eight gems in our pocket. We are so ridiculously strong right now. All we need is two more gems to clean this one up. Let's go ahead and do some work. Unfortunately, that Mortis is gonna take a Crystal. I wanted all of them. Man, still gonna be okay though. Uh, turrets are like really good against Mortis, but it looks like we've got two crystals for our teammates. Uh, he's at 97 HP. He keeps moving, so he's not regaining anything. Hopefully, he doesn't do anything crazy. Let's just go ahead and keep on fighting right here. Oh, I'm burning to death, actually. That was terrible. Okay, well, we need to make sure we keep alive. The other Mortis needs to come back. Uh, I think we should be okay. We're going to clean everyone up right here. All of these gems, thank you very much. And that should be the end of it. Nine gems in our pocket. Woo, that one got a little bit scary. We ended up getting killed in the corner by so much of that barley burn. And uh, now we can just go ahead and run around the map. Personally, what I do with Mortis at the end, because it's impossible to catch him towards the end, is I run to the opponent's base. It's a next level BM inside of the game. We're gonna get so close to getting to their base spawn, but that's gonna be the end of it. Nice little battle right there. And we will be the MVP Mortis inside of that battle. Three Chris or three stars is gonna put us up to level 10. Not too shabby right there. And let's go ahead and switch it up a little bit. So Mortis is fun, but moving on to our next brawler. Uh, I'm going to stick to smash and grab right now. Who do we want to play? Now, Nita's been strong. I've actually had a lot of fun playing Nita, especially with her panda skin, which is ridiculous. For some reason, I've only leveled her up to level 7. She actually, I think I leveled her up to level 6 right when the, the game started, and then I sort of stopped playing her. Let's go ahead and play Nita again and see if we can pick up a dub, especially with this panda skin, which is just too, too good. Okay, Poco, we're going to need to stock up our bear right there. Nicely done. Two more hits right there. Another hit right there. Uh, we are just grinding right now, getting so much stuff kill that Shelly right there and guess what bear is already gonna be out and about that bear is gonna smack that Poco in the mouth let's go and make sure we regenerate HP and I feel like they only have two heroes I've seen a Shelly and a Poco so far I haven't really seen anything else looks like we've got a primo just chilling in the base very nicely done by that primo secretly helping us out on our team uh, yeah okay looks like we're just gonna go ahead and do our thing right now and with six crystals sitting on top of the crystal mine, not really too much they can do except for actually smack us in the face right there. That is not pretty. Bear needs to go down, dodging everything. Oh, that was such a good dodge. Double bear onto Shelly is going to be the saddest thing I've ever seen. Bear's going to smack Poco right in the mouth, which means nine gems total. Make that ten in a second. That's basically going to be the end of it, guys. No way they're going to be able to come back from a two on three. Nita being so strong is going to do work for us. And uh, let's just go ahead and go crazy and make it a little bit interesting towards the end. Okay, we like making it interesting. Let's go for this Poco. Oh wait, Primo's back. No, Primo's back. Primo's back. The bears need to do work. Primo's still alive. What in the world? Primo's gonna come back with a second left. We're gonna need to crush him. Someone kill this Primo. <laughs> what was that? The Primo came out of nowhere and almost threw that for us. Let's throw another bear onto the field. Okay, no more being silly and dying. Wait, no, Nita, what are you doing? Nita. Okay, Nita almost threw it for us. Now we've got 13 crystals. Even one of the Nitas can die right now and we're going to be fine, which is actually what's going to end up happening. 14 crystals is going to be the total. We almost threw it right there. That would have been that would have been bad. That would have been really, really bad. I would have been so embarrassed. El Primo coming out of nowhere at the very end. Very, very surprising. But still, we're going to pick up the dub. Oh, wait. No, I didn't mean to do showdown. Let's do smash and grab one more time with Nita. That was bad. That could have been really, really bad. If that Primo came back and won after taunting them and just like going in and dying towards the very end, I would have been really sad, but it looks like we're gonna get into this next battle with a Mortis and a Dynamite. This could be interesting as uh, yeah, they've got a Primo, which is gonna be pretty brutal for us to try to deal with in the beginning. Now, just throwing my, what does Nita even throw with her ability? I don't even understand what it is. Um, I don't even know, yeah, I don't really know what Nita even does. She like does this weird little thing she just throws out as our dynamite tries to do work. Dynamite on dynamite action. We've got a bear ready in a moment. Is Oh, Shelly's right there, actually. Let's go ahead and put that bear right on top of Shelly's face. Looks like that should do okay. Oh, dynamite's gonna go in. Let's go ahead and kill that dynamite right there. El Primo's gonna go in. Should be able to kill this El Primo. Wait. Oh, El Primo's going way in right there. That is not a very smart move. Let's just go ahead and let our bear and uh, let Mortis clean that up right there. 416 HP. That's gonna be a lot of gems for El Primo. And we're gonna end up dying actually. Ooh, our bear is trying to do work. Mortis is going all over the place. Mortis is gonna get destroyed by Shelly though. Okay, that is not good. Fortunately, I'm gonna pick up these crystals, so it could have been way worse. Let's go ahead and throw another bear right here. Doing work against Dynamite. 
Not too bad. We already have another bear ready, by the way, which is crazy. Five gems to five gems. This is going to be an intense battle, but Mortis is really bad against Shelly because if you're Mortis and you get close to Shelly, they just throw a shotgun shell in your face and you basically die. Let's go and fight this Shelly right here. We need to get some damage. Dynamite actually ended up hitting that Shelly, so we're going to get some crazy damage. Bear is just smacking that Primo in the face. We've got 10 gems. 10 gems are going in right now. We need to take on this Dynamite. Dynamite's going to get hit a bunch by our abilities. Let's just go ahead and regain some HP. Shelly's going to die too. Another bear in her face. Should basically be the end of it as Dynamite runs in like a madman. GG. Woo, that was close in the beginning. We were at five to five, and then we just started snowballing all over them. Uh, fortunately, we were able to get a couple of kills in the center. Star player in every single match so far has been clutch. 18 experience. So, so good. Now we're so close to Skull Creek, which would be the next double XP event. Uh... Let's go and do another one right here. I'm actually trying to get this Nita leveled up to level eight, which would be pretty good. Let's go and get into another one, see if we can make that happen. We're at six out of six right now, and let's see if we can dominate. They've got a Mortis and two shotgun players. We've got one shotgun player and a Dynamite. Huh, who knows how this one's gonna shake out right now, but this Mortis is gonna be a pain. Fortunately, Shelly does really well into Mortis. If Shelly, like once Mortis gets a couple of gems and he tries to run in, we're gonna crush him. So I feel pretty good about our chances there. Let's go ahead and keep damaging that Shelly. Keep damaging this bull. Actually, I've got this right here. We're going to throw that bear right on top of Shelly. We need to kill this Mortis, though. Okay. Actually, that didn't end up working. Now, bear's going to start attacking. Nope, it's not going to attack bull right there. We've got three gems, though, somehow, some way. And uh, meanwhile, we're going to end up killing that Mortis right there. Where's our teammate? Shelly actually went crazy right there. Nice work by Shelly. We're actually going to do work against their Shelly. Ooh, Shelly's going to go ahead and run in on me. Uh, the Shelly's being obnoxious. A bear in Shelly's face. One more hit. Oh, the bear's going to knock Shelly out. Six crystals. This is just crazy. Who? Oh, they've got Mortis. I've got to try to... Yeah, this is going to be tough against this Mortis. Mortis ran into the wall. That's obviously not an optimal play. Uh, bear, please. Okay, the bear's going to end up crushing that Mortis. Not too bad. Eight crystals. About to be nine crystal. Bear is just doing work against Bull. How about another bear for that Bull right there? Not too bad there as well. Shelly's going to get locked on to. Mortis is going to run for me. Let's make sure we don't let him kill me, please. Ooh, actually, our Shelly's going to die. That's not good. Kill that Mortis. Thank you. Six crystals. Oh, we're at ten crystals. Kill the Shelly. Oh, Bull was right there. Bear needs to kill this Bull. No. That was like all of our crystals right there. I didn't see that Bull. I thought we had the game one. Dang, that's so bad. We need to make sure. We need to get all of these crystals right now. That Bull is going to be so hard to kill. This is going to be rough. We need to defend this crystal mine with our life. We need to defend this dynamite with our life, actually. Uh, we've got bats going in. We've got so much going in right now. Someone kill this. Nine crystals, though. Shelly's going crazy. Shelly's going to miss everything, though. Dynamite gets seven crystals. Oh, Bull's going in. What in the world is this? Bull's going in with eight crystals in our base. Bull, what were you thinking? Thank you for the victory, Bull. That's going to be all 15 crystals, two for the enemy. Bull just completely throwing it with one of the worst specials in the entire game. Oh man, that's going to be, if I was on the enemy team, I would be pretty mad right now. And uh, that should be the end of it. Two seconds left. That's going to be GG well played. Oh, that was an aggressive bull. I've seen some aggressive bulls in my day, but that was an aggressive bull going in with eight gems. I can only imagine the look on the enemy's face as he ran in right there. Feels bad, man, but that's going to be another star player. Five straight star players using Nita. 18 XP as well. All right. Well, fun battles using Nita and Mortis today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you think about Piper in the comment section below if you think she's going to be OP, as a lot of things are in Supercell games when they first come out. But that's going to do it for this episode. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.